Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona, your independent Sensi consultant, and today is Sensi Saturday. We are going to be talking about the one that was chosen, but also we're going to talk about this one, which is the January scent of the month. And uh, we'll talk about Sweet Amber and Freesia first. And this was chosen by Julie LaPaglia. So thank you so much. Um, okay. So Sem Sensi describes this as Verbena Blossom, Freesia, and Sweet Amber. Now, uh, if you've been around a while, you know that I'm not big on florals. Uh, however, I was pleasantly surprised by this one. It is floral. However, the amber just kind of rounds out the floral, so it's not so in-your-face floral. It's not a perfumey floral. It's just a very light, sweet floral with a little bit of like... The amber brings just a little bit of warmth to it or a hint of muskiness to it. It just like takes the floral down a notch or two. So for me, it was really nice. Um, and I melted it in my powder room downstairs. I really enjoyed it. The throw, well, it's a small room, so it, you know, it's hard to say what it would do in a big room, but the, the throw was, you know, eight, eight and a half, but again, it was a small room. So um, I am, I will melt the rest of this. I probably will put it between, you know, maybe my bedroom and my bathroom in between that space around there. Um, and so actually I was, it was surprised, but I actually did enjoy it. Uh, and that was a bring back my bar. Also to note, uh, January 1, is it January 1 or January 4? Or, uh, mm, I'll post it. I'll make a post. Uh, the, but the next round of voting is going to start the, for the June Bring Back My Bar. So that's going to be fun. I don't think it's January 1st, actually. Um, it's going to be three or four days of voting, and it's just going to be one round. You remember a couple of times ago, it would like progressively, you know, they'd knock out some, have another round, knock out some, but it's just going to be one round, just like last time. And that, so those Bring Back My Bars will be back in June. So watch for that um, in early January. And as I said, I will post that. Okay, now here we go talking about the scent of the month for January. And I did a post on this last week. Uh, you go back and check it out. This is Jade and Jasmine. And uh, I'll talk briefly about the warmer as well. It's going, it's the etched core warmer, but it's metallic. There's a mini warmer and a full size warmer. And it comes in rose gold, silver, and yellow gold. So there you have it. Stay tuned for that on January 1, too. I think those are going to be super popular as well. Um, okay, so let's talk about the scent. So, okay, when I hauled this the other day, let's talk about the notes. Okay, top notes are clementine, pineapple, and green lemon. Mid notes of petty green, which somebody told me, oh my gosh, it's a floral, but now I can't remember what family it's in. Blue jasmine and rosemary. Base notes of white amber, musk, and oak. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking how I'm going to approach this. Start fresh with green lemon and blue jasmine garnished with rosemary in this gem of a fragrance. They describe this as fresh. I describe this as floral. I did on cold. I will have to, I have to concede that um, I liked it better than I thought I would. It's when it's warming, it is more, I would say there's definitely, it, there's some freshness to it. There is some freshness to it. Um, it is to me, it's still floral and it's a perfumey floral. Let me just take another whiff here. Yeah, on cold, it's very perfumey to me. On warm, that perfume note did kind of settle down a little bit. However, I still find it a little too floral for my liking. I'm just, I'm just not into florals. If they're, it's, if they're blended you, with a fruit, uh, I can kind of do that. However, although there are fruit nits in this, clementine, pineapple, and green lemon, I don't really get a prominent, oh, I'm, I'm picking up fruit. It's a fruity floral. That's not what my nose is reading. My nose is reading floral. I also would have been happy if the amber and musk and oak had have come out, but to my nose, it did not. Now, I did speak with somebody else, and they're not getting the same kind of perfumey vibe that I am. That's cool. Everybody has their own interpretation and their own noses and whatever. This is what my nose interprets. Uh, so um, throw is uh, c great. Eight and a half, eight out of ten. Super thrower. Um, I, I can't say, speak to longevity. 
A, because I don't leave my wax in that long, and this one even lo even less, because I did end up taking it out after two hours. It's just not in my wheelhouse. However, um, I have learned, you know, heard people speaking highly of it and that they are enjoying it. If you like kind of, if you're a floral gal or guy, if you're a floral person, you probably are going to like this. Um, for me, as I said, not my wheelhouse. I probably will mix it with something um, or put it in the guest room um, where I don't venture too often. So there you have it for my thoughts on Jade and Jasmine. Okay, next week, let's see what the choices are. Peppermint Dreams, Central Park Pralines, Baked Apple Pie, and Painted Leaves. So the first person to respond down below, that will be the wax I will melt and review next week. I hope everybody has a great week. Uh, Happy New Year. I will see you soon. Bye.